in fact, we've already gotten a lot of registration from Nigerian uh, businessmen in Ghana because this, uh, this is an issue that we cannot ignore. And uh, they're, they're actually in Nigeria. The association is in Nigeria. 753 of them have signed a document saying they want to be evacuated back to Nigeria. Now, their petition, their document is with three ministries. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ministry of Trade and Investment, and the Ministry of Interior to decide on the next steps. Is it easy to just pack your bag and leave a country you've, you've lived in for over 25 years of your life and been working hard? So it's a very complicated issue, but I believe it will be resolved. So the three ministers are working on the request by the traders, and we as NITCOM are even saying that we have about six big banks in Ghana. While this process is on, they should also be able to help the traders that are affected. So we're engaging with some of these big Nigerian institutions in Ghana. But we're optimistic that this matter will be real. Somebody just called me and said, well, I heard your point, but it's a law against foreigners to pay $1 million for retail. We also know that laws are made by men. And I also know that nothing will happen before the December elections in Ghana. That's just the reality. Forget about diplomacy. It's, it's political. Nothing will happen before the elections in Ghana, December 7, I think. But in the meantime, our traders are being engaged by the three key ministries. And I believe that, as we said earlier, this week, next week, the engagements will continue so that it can be a win situation for the Nigerian traders in Ghana. I think we are good.